your life without first loving yourself. That's just the reality of how things are. You have to love yourself immensely and unconditionally in order to demonstrate, reflect, and put the energy out into the universe for someone to love you in the way that you are looking to be loved. And when you do this, you will start to notice that what you want from someone else may be something that you could give yourself all along. So, we're going to bring this love to you. Okay? But, we just had to make sure that you are all good with understanding what love to truly value. I think we can force any type of love in our life, but that doesn't mean just because we can, we should. You may have somebody in the back of your mind, oh, I really like this person. I think we'll be great. I dare say I love this person. I just want them to like me back. Er, nope. Uh, what I want you to think about is the quality of why you like this person because nine times out of ten, we are the ones who give people the quality or we're the ones who give people the, I don't know, the specialness. Once you take your own thoughts out of it, does that person, do they still stand? Are they still the quality that you want? Do you want someone who's kind, caring, generous? Someone who stands up for what they believe in? Someone who enjoys leisure or activity? Someone who likes to travel? Someone who likes to read? Someone who likes to socialize? So, someone who likes to, you know, stay in the house? I want you to think about that. Think about also values, okay? You want someone who wants to get married? Do you want someone who doesn't want to get married? Do you want to have someone who wants to have children? Do you want to have someone who wants to only adopt children? Think about those values that you want within the right partnership. Do you want a conventional partnership? Do you want an unconventional partnership? Think about all those things. Now, what I want you to do is think about those things that you want to ask yourself questions. Okay, I'm attracted to this kind of person externally, internally. I like our dynamics, our relationship to be like X, Y, and Z. And instead of seeing this person as your other half or someone to make you whole, Think about it like this. Who is someone I can enjoy life with? Who is someone that can bring a smile to my face and I can bring a smile to them? And also, who is someone that I'm not going to put baggage on them and they're not going to put baggage on me? That we don't project onto each other. The healthiest form of relationship and connection. Someone who looks at you with greatest amount of all <laughs> they love being around you as well as you all have your own me time there's no codependency it's just connection already where there are ups and downs your relationship will most likely not get to this point I'm just gonna be honest with you I see it all the time there will be a small minority of people in those really ups and down relationships where the relationship actually gets to where they want it to go but don't think that you're a part of that small group instead what I want you to think about is this it's really hard to make someone treat you differently once they've established a pattern. So it may feel easier to stick with a relationship that does not work or that you already have because you think it's going to be so much harder. But I, I promise you, it's really not. There are like 7 billion people in the world. You're not going to tell me there's not at least a good 10 or 20 that's going to work out with you. I'm just saying. Let's just do the math. Okay. 
two processes. The first process is to have fun, and the second is to have faith. If you want to manifest anything, but specifically love, go have fun, because people love people who are happy. Don't nobody want to be with somebody who is not happy. If someone is fun and happy, they're going to attract more people, okay? Then have faith that the right person will be there for you. The right person will show up, so that means you have to say no to people. So if you're not good at saying no, get good. And the quicker you say no to someone, the better that the dynamics will be with you and, and those people, because they'll understand people respect boundaries, especially if you're very clear in the beginning. They don't, if you're like, I don't know, I don't know, is this the right person? If you don't know if that's the right person, maybe it's not. <laughs> Or maybe you need to take some time to get to know yourself 